Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial video for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a mod or your first mod and also show you guys a few things that you need to do after you've created uh, your mod um, that you have to set up. Uh, otherwise, there might be a few things that doesn't work. And also, this is important to do, otherwise, uh, when you go play, uh, certain things won't work. Um, so, um, with that said, let's get to it. So, I've already created a test mod again, uh, or I this is the like fourth time recording this video, because I, I mess up every time. But... Um, Anyways, I'll show you, I'll go through the process and show you guys uh, what I did. So if you're in, if you're new and you don't know how to create a mod, up here on the right um, corner uh, or top right, you guys will see there's a button that says modding hub. You want to open this and then um, under here where it says new mod, uh, you'll see uh, you can enter a mod name and then under description, you can put any, uh, well, a basic description of what your mod is going to be about. Um, and then after that, you just select an image that you want for your mod. And then you click create. And I'm going to do that um, because I already did it. Um, but all you need to do is just click create. It will take like five seconds. And then after that, it will usually open the content folder for your mod automatically uh, but if it doesn't just look here on the left if you don't have this window open up here you guys will see it says show or hide source panel so you basically click on this and it opens um, like a, a panel of all of the folders uh, of the SDK and so then you basically just scroll down usually it's at the bottom or depending on what your mods name is uh, then you just click on test mod content test mod content and then you'll basically be in your main uh, folder so uh, because of the new system uh, that they brought out in the in this new squad sdk v2.0 um things work a bit a little bit different and then um so you need to do a few things where you specify the paths uh, to where your faction um, settings are and faction setups and where um, your map um, levels um, are and all of that stuff so um, how you do this is you want to open your project settings now I already have it open here but if you don't know how to open it just go to edit and then click on project settings and then once you have it open uh, you want to come down under game and click on asset manager now this is only um so this is uh what we're gonna do here is just to specify to the engine where um your maps are and where are your gameplay layers and where are your factions um settings or data tables and all of that stuff um otherwise if you don't do this uh, when you go play um like i said previously um some stuff might not work or it might even it it might not even load your factions if you have a faction your own custom faction um so um yeah so as you guys can see here by default i don't think this is expanded so just click on it and then open each of these so it goes from zero to uh, four and then after that you want to click on this directories thing so you expand this as well uh, so let me just open all of them and then what you want to do is um here on the um i think yeah ignore zero because i don't we're not gonna use uh, zero so uh, just make sure you have one to four expanded and then here you'll see it says SQ level and then down here by directories you want to click this plus icon 
and now I'm gonna do this for my tutorial mod um because um I don't have anything in this test mod that I just created a few minutes ago, uh, but I already have most of the stuff in the tutorial mod because I've already made two tutorials um on it uh so I already have um most of those things in the folders so uh but even if you don't have uh, all of these uh, things set up yet it is good to do it beforehand even if you don't have the folders yet uh, but as you start working on your mod um, it's good if you have it if you pre-did it so for this first one you guys will see it just says game and then maps now instead of game you're gonna uh, specify your mods name um, so let me quickly open my mod folder on the right uh, or I can actually let's for instance if I go here and I say show oops, show in explorer um, so you're basically gonna come to the mod for or at least um, just uh, whatever you named your mod uh, just make sure you copy the name exactly how you put it in when you created your mod and then we're gonna say forward slash oops forward slash tutorial mod forward slash maps like so and I'm gonna just gonna copy this first part because we're gonna reuse it and then same for layers down here you'll see so expand number two go to directories click the plus icon uh, paste that if you copied it uh, because it's a little bit easier um, and then you're gonna specify maps again like so because your layers of your map is gonna be in your maps folders um, also still and then you're gonna come down to number three and this is where you're gonna specify the folder for your factions um, so this is just gonna be um, pointing to your settings folder um, so again just um, put in your mod name or forward slash your mod name make sure you the the name you put in here is the exact same when you created it and then after um, that you put another forward slash and say settings like so and then down here you'll see there's another one that says faction setup on this you're gonna click the plus icon do the same and then your faction settings are also in the settings folder so um you make it basically the same as the previous one and um yeah i that's about it now one thing that i did re um see is every time the sdk updates you have to come back here and just make sure the directories are still set if they are not you'll you have you'll have to add them again um, I've, I'm guessing this is just because um, every time um, the squad is to get update, it overrides these files. Um, um, now, I'm not sure if this only happens if they actually changed something um, of this asset manager. Uh, but in case, just um, every time the, uh, the SDK update, just um, come back into your the project settings and just make sure your directories that you've set here to your mod is are still set if they're not just add them again um and thankfully it's not that hard to know what to put uh what uh to put in here because you basically just look at at the end what it is for so maps here for instance then you know you need to have it specified to the maps folder but um yeah uh this was just a quick video to show you guys what to do to first set up um your to to create your mod and do um a few small setup uh, project setup stuff that you need to do um but um yeah hopefully you guys uh, found this video helpful if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, wait. Um, I almost forgot. <clears throat> Sorry. 
Uh, I created a Patreon page uh, for my channel. Now, um, this is the first time me ever using Patreon, uh, but um, if you guys have any suggestions um, of stuff that you guys think I need to add uh, to my Patreon page, uh, just let me know. But there will be a link in the video description if you want to go and look at it. Um, if you become a Patreon, um, all it does is, is you, you're basically supporting me um, to create more and exciting videos for you guys. And um, I'm not just making tutorials. Uh, most of you um, that are watching these tutorials probably um just know me for my tutorials but i also make gaming videos occasionally um so if you guys want to check uh, those out as uh, well you can uh but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one